Hello everyone and welcome to another at maths tutorial video. Now I'll be discussing form 5 additional mathematics chapter 3 integration long question example 5. Okay before that please like this video to show your support and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future. Okay let me read the question now. The diagram shows part of the curve y square equals to 16 minus x and the straight line 2x plus 3y equals to 6. So this is the curve as you can see here and this is the straight line. Continue to read the question. Calculate the volume of the solid generated when the shaded region is revolved through 360 degree about the x-axis. So this is the overall question. So I hope that you will attempt this question in the future. If you could manage to solve this question, a big thumbs up to you guys. But if you can't solve this question, no worries. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step working and the solutions. So without further delay, let us start to solve this question. Okay, before calculate the volume of the solid generated for the shaded region in this case. So the first step what we need to do is we need to find all the relevant uh, limits. Okay, in this case, uh, the limits are in terms of intercepts. Okay, since we are revolving about the x-axis, we need to collect some of the important uh, information. Okay, so this is the limit that yeah, we're going to find out. This one and over this one. Okay, of course, this one is the origin which you have the coordinate 0, 0. So this is the two coordinates and over here. Okay, so why am I labeling over here? Okay, let me explain to you. So in order to calculate the volume of the solid generated when the shaded region is revolved through 360 degree about the x axis. So actually you are forming a cone volume okay, over here. So this triangle is actually forming a cone if you notice carefully. Okay, so let me draw a diagram. I hope you can see a cone okay, and this is the radius and this is the height okay let me underline so that you can see it clear okay so as for the area under the curve so we're going to reflect it uh, to the x-axis so let me draw it similar over here okay by the way just a sketch guys okay so it looks something like this okay when it revolved through 360 degree and as you can see here this is your shaded region okay so in order to calculate the volume of the volume of the shaded region what you need to do is the first step we need to calculate the volume under the curve and then you minus with the volume under the cone okay the volume under the curve and then you minus with the volume of the cone then you should able to get the volume of the shaded region okay that is the reason why i'm asking you to calculate the uh, limits first okay that will be our first step okay without further delay let us write the step one okay in this case step one Find the y intercept and x intercept from straight line. Okay, so as you can see here, so this is the straight line. Okay, let me erase this diagram okay now it's better so from here let us begin to calculate with the x intercept so to calculate your x intercept you set your y value equals to 0 okay so when your y equals to 0 so from here you get your 2x equals to 6 so you calculate this you should get your x value is equals to 3 3 okay 
So your x value should be equals to 3. Okay, so let me underline this. So this is your first uh, information regarding the limit. Okay. So from here, let us proceed to find the y-intercept. So for the y-intercept, we're going to set our x equals to 0. Okay, so from here, when your x equals to 0, 3y will be equals to 6. So to get the y, what you do? 6, you divide with 3. So from here, you get your y value equals to 2. Okay, so this is your second information. So from here, you know that your height of the cone is equals to 3 and your radius of the cone is actually 2. Okay. So let me label this. Since it revolving 360 degree. Okay. Like I have explained in the earlier of the discussion in order to find the volume of the shaded region. Okay. So we still have one information left to find which is the second intercept which related to the uh, volume under the curve. Okay, So that will be our step 2. So step 2, find x intercept of the curve. Okay, so from here, so to get the x intercept, so you set your y equals to 0. So from here, when y equals to 0, so from here you get 16 minus x equals to 0. So from here, you should get your x is equals to 16. So this is your x intercept of the curve. So let me underline this. Oops. Please wait. So let me scroll this down and underline the value. Okay. So from here we can label it over here 16. Okay. So we have all the relevant information. Okay. Now we can proceed to calculate the volume of the shaded part. Okay. So from here let us proceed to our third step now. So from here to calculate the volume of shaded part. Okay, let me write in the working over here so that you can able to understand better will be equals to volume under the curve and then you minus with the volume of cone okay so from here I'll write this volume of shaded part as V shaded V subscript shaded so from here v subscript shaded will be equals to pi okay and then you integrate it with the limit of 16 to 0 okay 16 to 0 okay since you are integrating in terms of y square since you are finding volume so from here y square is equal to 16 minus x so from here you just substitute over here 16 minus x okay and then in terms of dx okay and then you minus with the volume of cone so the formula to find the volume of cone is 1 over 3 pi r square h okay so from here your radius is 2 and your height is 3 so you can use this information to form the volume of cone guys okay so from here 1 over 3 times with pi okay and then 2 square times with 3 okay so this is the volume of cone so i hope you understand the concept of how i get this equation guys okay is based on the revolution about x axis through 360 degree okay so let us continue so let me integrate this so from here we subscript shaded is equals to pi okay so integrate the inside uh, variable you should get 16x minus x square over 2 so with the limit of 16 0 
okay so this three and three you can cancel off so you cancel get one you cancel get one so two square is four so four times with pi you get is four pi so from here you get this minus four pi okay so from here let us continue so let us substitute the upper limit and the lower limit value okay so v subscript shaded this equals to pi okay and then square bracket 16 times with 16 minus with 16 square over 2 okay and then you minus with 0 okay so since you substitute everything so you will get up end up getting 0 okay and you minus with 4 pi okay you substitute everything you calculate this you should get your v subscript shaded is equals to okay so please wait guys let me calculate this so 16x minus x square over 2 so you should get this 128 pi okay and then you minus it 4 pi so from here your final answer should be 124 pi units cube so this is your final answer okay so let me underline this solution for this question okay so that is all for the step-by-step -step working and solution for this question i hope you understand the full working that i've shown to you if you like this video please give your thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future and not to forget to share this video any comments or feedback or questions you can feel free to put down in the comment section thank you everyone for your support and i'll see you in the next video